Well, hello everybody, welcome to your new airport, which is pretty much what is mostly requested on my channel. Like, you guys want this airport so, so bad. Um, this probably took me like three hours to build, so I'm not going to show you guys the time-lapse build of this. Simply because it's just way too much going on, a lot of tweaking. There's still a lot of tweaking I need to do off-camera as well, especially for just making the roads flow a lot better. And uh, especially to make them flow a lot better up in, up in here as well. So... Yeah, where do I start? Oh my god, there's so much that I need to cover, but I think we'll just start with um, what you guys are most familiar with is this roundabout over here. So, you guys would remember from a few videos ago, I think two videos ago, um, so this guy comes down here and um, there's these two major roundabouts and then I added in this existing road, it went to about here, this road, and it connected about here. But I extended it all the way up here so all of the people wanting to go from the highway to the harbour can actually bypass this whole airport place, bypass both roundabouts and then go connect onto here. Um, and then it also just creates another easy slip lane to get into uh, the airport. So it's it, it may look like a lot but eventually I'm going to build up all of these existing areas here um, with a lot of bigger infrastructure, lots of bigger buildings and it will really fit in quite nicely as well. So right now it kind of looks a little bit over the top having this road like this and all of the roundabouts but it looks, um, it, I, mean, I imagine it's going to look quite well in the future so. So yeah this is working quite well it looks like the trees, when you zoom out it looks like the trees are in the road but it's not actually in the road so don't worry about that. So all of the traffic coming from the harbour area still has to use these roundabouts and go through both roundabouts to go through this main road here but their traffic isn't as bad as the traffic going along this road here going this way so as of now I'm just going to leave it like that maybe in the future I'll add in a road going from here over to the highway like this road here but for now it's fine so with an airport you basically have an in and an out so since I'm in Australia we go in from the left side so this roundabout is for entrance which is why I have the entrance ramp right here so it goes in there and then they can just basically flow around up on the uh, oh look at the plane <laughs> sharp turn so I use the highway so it's a quick entrance and then so this area here can kind of be seen as like a drop-off area um, and this is kind of like a main building here you can see I've got the the monorail terminal right there in this building here and all of the car parking right there so it's all close together so the cars can easily easily just come around here they can do any drop-offs here like they are right now continue off and then straight back down onto the highway and then it's just very easy they can go in and out without really any issues uh, and then I added in this road here so let's just say they go this way they miss their turn they make a mistake they can just turn back in here go back across and go back up up here or up along here to the drop-off zone again or they can go into this office park here which I'll talk about a little bit later so keeping in theme with the one-way road so these roads here are pretty much just for parking purposes so they can go up here um, go in here to the parking lot or they can go in through this little road here as well um, yeah so this road here is just for parking lots only I made it go underneath uh, this big terminal area here so straight underneath here so I didn't want it to really I didn't want any roads to go through here that's going to cut off the people so the road continues underneath here pops out this side here where there's more parking as well and then once they're done with parking they can just follow the road around and then easily connect straight onto the highway and then they can get back onto the major highway later on so it's a very easy uh, road to follow it's just all one big loop pretty much and if they really do make a big mistake they can easily just follow the roundabout around again and then just basically follow the road and go back into the airport and then yeah so it's not like if they make a mistake they're going to end up way out here on the highway or something they can easily just turn back in to the airport so um, I put a lot of taxi terminals everywhere so like here which is the drop-off zone and then also these ones up here um, so this road here, this is technically the main road that the game recognizes in the game um, as the airport. So I made it so, keeping in with the same theme, the one-way theme, um, it's a bus lane. So the bus lane goes in here. Um, not that it's just for buses, but it's a bus lane that goes in. This is where all the bus stops are. So there's probably one here. You can actually think there's maybe one here. You can see the road goes in a little bit. Um, there's probably one up here. Right right there and then 
if they want to go from here to the other side they disconnect to this part here go underneath um, and then they can drive back up here and then there's more bus stops here so it's really just disconnecting everything so you have the drop-off zone here you have the parking lane here and then you have the bus and taxi lane here and yeah it just keeps it all disconnected it keeps it makes less traffic congestion so um, and I made it so no cars are allowed on here um, it, you may be wondering why there's a tractor that's because I added in these buildings here which are actually recognized in the game as um, what's it called like industrial office space so that's why there's some tractors and trucks driving through here and that's okay the bus is so you can there's, see there's a bus right there so it goes in along here like I said underneath and then it just goes basically um, I think I made it so it goes over to the look where did I make it go to I think it goes to the harbor yeah so it just goes over to the harbor basically to the main area of the harbor and then just bypasses oh I need to fix this but it bypasses everything else there's no other stops between the harbor and the airport so it's really just for people getting from the harbor to the airport and you can see it goes in here and then it goes underneath and simply back around and yeah yeah it really doesn't interact with all of this traffic up in through here um, the only interaction is down through here but I made them give way so there's a stop sign or a, guild, a yield sign they have to wait until the coast is clear to go uh, and it seems to be working fine for now in terms of actually making all of this like for the actual game um, so obviously these are just office buildings all of these and what I had to do was I added in where is it this road here which is what you can see in here which is right through there so these buildings are actually connected to this one and I just banned cars so what they do they can actually and I made in some other pathways as well but you can't see them so they can get off the monorail and then there's pathways that connect them up to this main wa walkway through here you can see there they are all through there and then it connects them through up to here and um, I added in some little walkways like here not that they really connect to anything they're just for visual purposes anyway um, so they can choose which terminal they want to go to so technically it's two terminals because um, like this is just the very generic in-game terminal and I, I didn't want to download a whole lot of other terminal mods and assets from the workshop just because it just seemed too technical for me I just wanted to keep it simple and I know that this works fine using this um, these buildings so and you can see that there's planes coming and going in the background as well the only concern I have is I had to overlay both airport lanes like this um, it looks a little funny but it actually works alright and one thing I should mention quickly is that there's this very steep cliff right here so and it's a very unrealistic so I made sure that uh, using the where is it the plane route mod I made sure that there's no actual planes coming in this way and then having to do a very quick descent down into here just because it's really too steep so all of the planes pretty much land on this one here and they come in here so there's no landing on here just because of that really steep cliff so don't need to worry about that so that is not used at all because look at it it's way too steep so yeah and then the highway ex so you guys are probably familiar with this highway it went basically straight through here from here to here straight across here but um, so obviously that wasn't going to work, it wasn't going to fit, so completely straight underneath um, the airport like this, and I've actually seen highways go under airports before, so that's completely fine, so don't worry about that. Um, in terms of the train, I didn't really want to add a train, I thought the, the monorail was pretty much enough, um, and it basically goes either way, so that's probably the main transport for them, so that goes to the harbour and also straight to the city as well. So, and keeping in mind that is at the fastest speed as well, so they really do zoom along. Um, let me just check how many people are using the monorail. It's probably a lot 113 and then 99. So, it's a good amount. So, you may notice I have this huge park here, and I wanted this to kind of be just like the main grand park area that kind of like you drive past it, and then you just see that it kind of leads up to the main terminal area, which is right here. So, and right to basically where you need to go if you're going to the airport so it doesn't look that great to be honest I just added in the very generic um, park um, yeah I just added in the very generic parks and then added in some trees and then yeah so I used the same road 
um, the pedestrian road as I used up in here, but I just didn't ban the cars, that's why they're still driving through, but the the speed limit is very, very slow, so the, it's a very shared space between pedestrians and cars. Um, so yeah, these are all office buildings, so I guess it's good to have them close to the airport in case they want to do any type of business or any types of functions, so that's re just really handy to have, and it's also just good in general, I guess. Um, I'm noticing these guys haven't moved in a while, and there's a tree in the road. Let me delete that there. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to add in a monorail terminal right here, um, which would basically just serve the office area, but I mean, it's not too far away, so maybe we can get away with it. When I actually build all this area here, I might add in one here somewhere. Um, because, like I said, there's going to be a lot of office buildings here to make it blend in with the whole area. Oh, and just quickly, I made sure, if I just pause now, I know someone's going to ask. You can see the monorail actually fits underneath the road nicely. It's a little close to the building, but it still works fine. So you can see if I get down low enough. It still fits underneath, so don't worry about that. I definitely made sure because I know someone will pick me up about that in the video. Um... So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to mention. Like, you can see if I just uh, go to that screen like that, it flows in quite nicely. So it's good to have a flow like this because that's pretty much how they do it because there's so much traffic. You see, there's, I need to deal with a little bit of um, traffic managing over here just to make it flow a little easier. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, they do that weird merging thing, which everyone hates in the game. It's really annoying. Like, look at how they merge, it is so annoying. So I need to fix that up. But I'll do that off camera because it might take a while. But anyway, as I was saying, um, so yeah, you can see the whole, basically, just rotation type road is very effective and that's what they use generally in real life. Um, and then this road here, I guess, is really helpful just in case they make a mistake. Or if they want to get into the office space, uh, they easily can get in and get out. And um, yeah, so definitely include your public transport so I've got the taxis buses and the um, the monorail I think that's pretty much enough and um, yeah definitely keep it close to highways or create a really close highway uh, network for them and definitely give them priority access over the other types of roads just because there's um, so much traffic coming in so I think if I were to add this road here to this roundabout, it would just create so many issues because there's so much traffic coming from this way and um, they re they'd really have to meet right here and I can just imagine there'd be so much confusion, everyone would be driving everywhere and then there'd be that one car that's trying to like merge, just one lane and that's holding up all the traffic back up here. So I can imagine that's what's going to happen if I didn't have this slip road right here. So, so yeah, and then I've just added in the police and the fire. Um, station close by because they were saying that they need that. A lot of the buildings I m moved them together so like you can see they're m really mushed together um, so that was through this one here, this mod here. I can't remember what it's called, can someone tell me in the um, just, can someone comment below what this one's called because it's really really helpful and then also in terms of adding in trees into squishy areas use this one Prop and tree anarchy, so you can turn that on and off using Shift P. Um, and then turn in terms of this one up here, uh, it's Control A to turn it on and off. So that's on, so I can move buildings and mush them together. So um, that they're they're in my uh, mods and asset list, which I'll put in the description below if you really want them as well. And um, and then this one here, the Find It mod, is really helpful as well for placing down um, the specific building you want. So that's what that's what I use. It's very helpful. And yeah, so that is pretty much what I wanted to cover. This is the first time I've really made such a big airport. Like, when I play off-screen, I mean off-camera, um, I don't really build an airport at all. I usually forget to build it. And if I do build it, I pretty much just put down this building and that's it. So I don't really do anything else. So building this whole big area is very new to me. There's probably things that I forgot. So if there is, just let me know and I'll fix them up and add them in for the next video. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll give you guys some more final shots of the whole area and hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.